everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Barcelona. This isn't very representative of Barcelona, but I'm in Barcelona. This is actually my third time here, but the first time I was like a child, so I don't remember anything. So I don't know why I mentioned it, but it was there. The second time was like five months ago. Oh, that's a lie. I was here four times. Never mind. <laughs> I was like 13 years old and I was literally just on the beach. Like I didn't go anywhere else. Like I, I saw Sagrada Familia and the beach and that's it. So second time was like five months ago. And when I was here five months ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm in love with the city. I want to move. So now I'm here again. I'm at my cousin's house, but today she is in Guardia. Don't know what it is in English, but she's a medicine student. So she has a 12 hour shift in the hospital today. And I thought it was a great day for me to just walk around and explore my own because I have, I've been in Barcelona like five months ago, but I've never been around Barcelona on my own. I really want to walk around and like go to cafes and like work and just like walk around the park and like experience the normal life. Not like the tourist, let's go to Sagrada Familia and the beach, but like, normal life you know so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mostly study languages all day today and a lot of spanish obviously because you know when in spain but also slight context for anyone who is new here or who hasn't seen my last video i have a long history with spain basically like my cousins are spanish so for my whole life i've been coming to spain like every single year not to barcelona but another part of spain specifically gran canaria is where they live but when i was 15 16 i did an exchange year also in gran canaria so i speak spanish but not like fluently like i speak spanish but i'm scared to go order in a cafe i don't know how that works but okay so before we start with the video i want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor nordvpn so if you've never heard of nordvpn before it is literally the best virtual private network out there you can connect to like over a thousand servers in over 59 countries with literally one click like you go into the app you go on the map you choose a country and you are connected and there are a lot of benefits to using nordvpn so first of all the internet speeds are beautiful nordvpn has been proven to be the fastest virtual private network out there the second thing is that it protects all of your devices so i've been in a hotel for about a week and all of my devices have been connected to nordvpn the whole time because i have to use public wi-fi and even though the risk is really small i don't want to risk being hacked and the third thing is that if you're a language learner you can immerse yourself in your target language without going to the country so while i'm in spain right now all of my ads everything that comes up on youtube everything is in spanish and when I go back to the UK, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna go back to being English. But if I connect to a Spanish server using NordVPN, I'm still gonna be immersed in Spanish media, even if I'm in the UK. So if you guys wanna try it out, make sure to go to nordvpn.com slash analinks and you will get a two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. So it is a beautiful, beautiful offer. Now let's go back into the video. And the newer, more recent context is I kind of want to move here next year, but I don't know, we're gonna see. So today we're just gonna test out the vibe. But yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. I think it's quite cold right now. This is very weird. I swear to God, climate change because Everybody tells me that it's not usually this cold in April, but it's quite cold right now. I'm gonna go and figure out where I'm going. I don't know why I'm nervous to order in cafes. Like, first of all, in cafes, everybody understands English because this city is full of tourists, even in April. But I don't want to order in English, I want to order in Spanish, but I'm scared they're gonna say something I'm not gonna understand and then they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's such a foreigner. But they're, they're nice people, they wouldn't say that. So it's just in my head. Anyway. I'm gonna quickly check I have everything because I can't be forgetting anything today. the fact that there are so many motorcycles in Barcelona like absolutely everywhere you look there's like motorcycle there motorcycle there motorcycle parking there motorcycle parking there but I love it it makes me want one the city is very motorbike friendly as far as I know I don't know how safe it is but it's just everywhere Priority now is finding breakfast because it is 12 o'clock now. Still have not eaten. I'm still not that hungry, but 
I'm gonna end up eating McDonald's or something, so I have to find something ASAP. Okay, so it's like exactly 3 p.m. right now, and I'm currently going to another place. So basically, my cousin finished her hospital placement early, so I'm going to meet her now for like lunch slash coffee. And then I think she's gonna go shopping and I'm gonna stay and go to another cafe to work. In that cafe, what I was doing is I was reading a Spanish book and like writing down all the vocab I didn't know. And the only negative is that I was reading really slowly, but at the same time, like I learned so many words that are actually really useful, so. I really liked that second cafe like i worked really well there and now i don't know what time it is i think it's like 6 30. i'm going home i'm kind of lost barcelona like a lot of the streets look really similar and also the way the city is laid out oh my god it's like squares like blocks and like sometimes it's like it looks like it's easier to get around and sometimes it is because you could just remember like i need to go two blocks but sometimes it's so confusing because every street looks so similar and then it's so linear, but we had a good day, and now I'm going home. I swear to God, I don't even have space to bring a book, but I really want a book. bookshop was beautiful but it was so confusing because they had books in three languages and i was like it was not sorted by languages it was like sorted by genres so like it would be like spanish catalan english catalan catalan spanish spanish english i was very confused and most of the books were in catalan so fun fact i mean most people i feel like a lot of people know that in barcelona they speak catalan as well as spanish but um they speak it a lot more than I thought, so I didn't think that there would be that many books in the language, but there are a lot. Bro, you need a plate or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> Zanahoria de manzana. Oh. Esto me gusta a mí. Y por último, muchos buñuelos. Oh. Qué rico, están rellenos. Oh. A ver, son 3 euros todos. Vamos a comprar libros. Never mind, está cerrado. Pero da igual. What we are doing right now is we are going, oh my god, my voice. We are going to a children's park to go on, what do they call in Spanish? Tirolina. Oh, you, you have, you, have you recorded in the new one? Oh, you haven't, well, okay, nothing. I didn't even film our sushi, like apart from that two seconds. We didn't go to the, what were they called? Tiro, 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 the thing that we were going. Tirolina. Tirolinas. Tomorrow. We didn't go because it was dark and it was scary. Easy. Ya está.